Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts Union Cross Nation. And for today's video, we're going to be going over some of the new medals that just came out in the JP version of the game. Spoiler alert, they're nothing too surprising. <laughs> Alright, so jumping right into it, let's go ahead and take a look at the medals themselves. So we have three medals that just came out for today in JP. First of them being Prime Maleficent. She is a Magic Reverse Tier 5 medal. Costs 4 gauges, is AoE, has a multiplier of a 2505 at 7 star. Deals 13 hits that ignore target's attributes, and for one turn raises the Reverse Strength by 3 and Special Attack bonus or Guilt bonus by 120%. And this is at the 7 star version. This is quite literally just another version of Prime Neku and Joshua as well as Prime Halloween Sora. So we got another version that we can use now. <laughs> Whether or not we'll get more of these, I'm not too sure, but hey. Next up in a high score challenge for JP, whether or not we'll get it for high score challenge or not is to be seen, but there's a good chance that we might, is Illustrated Timeless River Sora. It is a speed upright tier 8 metal, cost 7 gauges, is single target, has a 6 star multiplier of a 15.58 to a 27.13, uh, which I should just state real quick is actually less than Sora and Simba. So Sora and Simba is still currently the strongest speed upright metal in the game. And its ability is that it changes the attack attribute of the next metal, uh, and it'll change it to speed type, and it deals more damage with one enemy left. So if you want to think about it this way, it's basically just a stronger speed version of FFRK Warrior of Light, or if you're playing the JP version, it's just a stronger version of Judy and Nick B. Last but not least, we also have the new Supernova Key Art 19 medal. It is a magic upright medal, tier 8, cost 6 gauges, is AoE, has a 7 star multiplier of 31.48 to a 47.39. And for one turn, it raises the upright strength by 3, magic strength by 7, lowers the target's upright magic and general defense by 7 tiers, has a guilt buff of 100%, provides 3 gauges, and does not affect counters, and it deals more damage with 1 enemy or 0 parts left for raid bosses. In a nutshell, it's basically just a magic upright version of Supernova Sephiroth. So it's worth noting that aside from the high score challenge Timeless River Sora uh, medal, that for the other two medals, they did come in JP in a banner deal, which is basically just another version of the Halloween Sora banner deal that we had before, where you're guaranteed a copy of the Prime Medal every single pull, with at the 5 Mercy pull being the 7 star version of the Prime Medal, and the Supernova Medal is a non Mercy pull. I'm assuming that we're going to be getting the same exact thing for the Global, because uh, it would just make sense, because they've kind of been doing that a little bit lately. But if this does end up being the case, my general consensus about it is going to be the exact same as it was last time, as it was for Halloween Sora. <laughs> that pretty much the Prime Medal is meant for beginners, and that is just not worth chasing for any non-Mercy pull banner or medal in this game. And from those of you that learned last time with Sephiroth, just how exactly hard it is to try and get a non-Mercy uh, medal, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But other than that, that was it for today, guys. I just wanted to review some of the newest medals that came out in JP. Go ahead and let me know what your thoughts and opinions are in the comment section down below. But other than that, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe and hit that bell button. It is the best way I know when I upload more videos such as this one. My name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts Union Cross Nation, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace.